Alrighty guys, welcome to your third video in how to make a sweet Ajax chat room. And here's a little fun fact for you guys. I actually made this video before, but my microphone was on mute. I must have hit the dumb button. So now I have to make the whole thing again. So for you, of course, it's your first time. But for me, I already did all this crap and it's really ticking me off. But anyways, now that we created this file and what this file does is basically whenever we import it it creates this chat table in our database so let's go ahead and figure out how to do that right now go ahead to your cpanel and instead of the database section which is where we created the database we now have to add the table to it so you do that you manage all your tables and stuff in php my admin so go ahead and click that and you can actually do this through code but this is a very easy way this is how people typically work with their tables it, it gives you more of a, a visualization instead of you know looking at the command line and crap but anyways go ahead and click on your database name and mine was just named chat so click on your database and now this is where you can go ahead and create a database manually and that's great we can go ahead and do that however we have a file already set up and all we have to do is import this so on top you have a bunch of little tabs here if you click on import then it gives you an area where it says choose the file that you want to import and if you choose a file and navigate to it and let's see where I put it chat tutorials and chat SQL so just click that and you don't have to change any settings the settings should be fine by default just go ahead and press go and now we get a little green prompt and if your prompt is red if it has a red background right here instead of green then what this means is more likely than not some of your you probably type something wrong in your code so go ahead and make sure your source code is exactly the same as mine and I'll have this file available to you guys on my forum once I'm done with all these tutorials but anyways now if you go ahead and click on your database name again and you choose structure then you can see that our table was imported successfully and the cool thing about this is whenever you have a file what you can do is you can just go ahead and give your friend this file and then they don't have to create the table manually or if you're working with you know a team of developers or something so that's why I like making all of these in SQL files rather than you know just doing everything manually in PHP my admin but now the important part is we now have a table created in our database and the table name is chat so now we can go ahead and add the messages to the table and just to recap one last time so you guys don't get confused whenever we're coding this thing it has a message ID which is pretty much the ID number of each message and a message is just one thing that the user types a posted on so it saves the time and the date that it's posted the username which is either you know Bucky or guest 88 the message itself which is the text like hey what's going on STFU or the color and also the color of the text itself so we can actually close out of this browser because you know we don't need anything in the browser for a while now what we need to do is we need to create a new file so create file new and just go ahead and save this as bucky underscore air handler dot php 